to another episode of the Movie Brothers. I'm Ant. This is Kev. Thank you guys for joining us once again. What's up, Kev? What's up, my brother? Man, I'm blessed. I can't complain. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing all right, man. Uh, it's hot as hell outside. <laughs> yes, 105 indeed. degrees outside. Yes, sir. I, yeah, I see you're not suited and booted today as you normally are. Uh, you kind of more chilly willy with it. Yeah, I'm chilly willy because I don't want to be sweating and wetting in here. Yeah, and I don't want you wetting, <laughs> especially <laughs> since, you're, since you're sitting next to me. So. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Okay. Hey, y'all, we got a great show for you as always. We are reviewing the film Let's Be Cops. Uh, this film is rated R, has a runtime of one hour and 44 minutes. Uh, this is a straight up comedy. Uh, in this film, we have two buddies uh, who go to a costume party dressed as cops, and let's just say they get a little bit too carried away with their costumes. <laughs> <laughs> this movie was directed by Luke Greenfield who brought us uh, Rob Schneider's The Animal, if that gives you any hints as, as to what you are in <laughs> store, what's in store for you. But wah, at any wah, rate, wah. <laughs> this movie stars Jake Johnson, um, Damon Wayans Jr., mm -hmm. okay? Uh, Andy Garcia is in this movie, surprisingly. Rob Riggle and Nina Dobrev. All right. What do you say we take a look at the trailer? Let's do it. How did we get so far off track? What are you talking about? We both have good things going on right now. Hey, did I see you in a commercial? You did, yeah. I have. I have. I have. General Herpes. What's up? I want to Hello? Ah! 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 You don't jump out on brothers, man. You don't like that. So we're going to the party tonight. Cops or ghosts, your choice. I don't want to be a ghost. Let's be cops. People actually think we're cops. <laughs> Please freeze! Oh, that was awesome. Whoa, whoa, what do we have here? Officers, this is... Is this for real? Yeah. <laughs> what the... My bad. Hey, y'all. Um, <laughs> whenever you start <laughs> with hey, y'all, that's typically not a good sign. Kev is right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I call this movie the little comedy that couldn't <laughs> I, I wanted so much for this movie to work you know i like damon williams jr and i kind of like the concept of the film you know once i heard about it and so i had so much hope for it but it right. just it, it it was a train wreck uh you know sp speaking of damon williams jr uh, I think this kid has talent, Kev. Right. Um, you know, he has that Wayans bloodline. Uh, yes, he looks like his father, but I, I, I think he does have talent of his own. And there is a space for him, but uh, it just did not work in this film. No, I'd agree with you 100%. Uh, he does have talent. There is something likable about Damon mm -hmm. Wayans Jr., but this film does not really showcase this and kind of makes him out to be a little bit weak. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's, a, that's an understatement. You know, I, yeah. I, I don't want to call this man out of his name or anything, Yeah. but it makes him out <laughs> to look a little bit weak. Um, I, I coined this movie Let's Be Flops because that's exactly what it is to me. Uh, it is a wannabe, stir-crazy type, Silver Street, Richard Pryor, Gene Wilder type buddy mashup movie and it does nothing to even come mm -hmm. anywhere close to being on the same level as films such as those. No, absolutely. I, I agree. You got Andy Garcia in this movie, which, you know, he, he, he's a great talent. And well, what's, I was like, well, what the hell is Andy Garcia <laughs> doing in this? I got the same impression from watching know. Andy Garcia in this as I did from watching Lawrence Fishburne in Ride Along. <laughs> you are better than that. Yeah, and, and Kevin and I have talked about this before y'all. Be warned. There was a time when these great actors could be billed in a movie and you knew, hey, it was going to be on point. Those days are long gone. Just yeah. because Andy Garcia or uh, Lawrence Fishburne or whoever is in a movie does not mean it's going to be good. Trust, okay? Some people just got bills to pay, just like you and me. You know, the recession, yeah. the recession it is all hard, so. No doubt. Uh, big problem in, with this film is the writing. The writing's very, very bad. Um, th there's some talented actors in the movie. I, right. I think that uh, Jake Johnson and Damon Wayans Jr. do have some chemistry going on. Right. Um, another big problem is, and, and I mentioned this in The Family, Hate to bring up the family again, but it, the same thing happened where you had this family doctor, just haunts you. It does. It just keeps coming back, and I'm trying to get rid of it. It keeps showing its face. You have this dichotomy of these two films like battling for each other. We know this film is a comedy, right? But 
you know, there is a crime element. The bad guys in the film, there's no humor. About three quarters of the way through the film, the, the movie forgets that it's a comedy and right. wants to be a dramedy at that point in time or, or just a straight up drama. And we're like, why? Yeah. Okay, what's the point? You've not built up any credibility with us for three quarters of the film. Now, all of a sudden, you want us to view <laughs> as a credible crime drama. Right. It's not happening. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not happening. Uh, Rob Riggle, you know, from 21 Jump Street, he was a funny guy. He is a funny guy. Completely wasted in this movie, you know, at playing a straight man. Okay? Yeah. Did not understand that at all. Every time he opens his mouth, you expect a joke to fall out of it, and it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, no, true that. And so it's all of this happening in this film, you know, things that they intended to be funny mm -hmm. are not funny. Right. Um, opportunity scenes where they, they could have worked some serious humor out of. Missed opportunities. Totally missed it. And uh, if you so choose to actually go see this film, do stick around for the outtakes because there is actually some funny stuff that happens, you know, right. some scenes that I'm like, why in the hell weren't they in the film kid exactly it's so, like they were mining for comedic gold in the wrong places right okay yeah and coming yeah. up with just lead so so i mean kid can we throw some points on this thing let's man? go ahead and do it let's do it brother okay uh basically i did not enjoy this <laughs> because really? at all. i i you know i was kind of mad and this close to walking out of a movie and that is that is something that I i've just never heard never you say do. that before Karen. that's because it, you know it's something to never do it's like a cardinal <laughs> sin of of movie watching i would never walk out of a film but this one almost made me walk out Dang, um man. It just, you know, it didn't, you know, fulfill its, uh, you know, whatever the premise was supposed to be. Uh, I give this movie a four out of ten, man. All right, Kev. You know, hey, I said it just a minute ago. This film for me was a little comedy that couldn't. Uh, there was some potential here, but the writing was so bad. Uh, I give this film a five out of ten. Okay. So uh, there you have it. Hey, guys. Um, you know, we do a lot of joking, and we have a lot of fun on this show. I mean, that's what it's intended to be, right. infotainment. Um, and we want to make you laugh, and we laugh with each other, and it's wonderful. But um, we would be doing everyone a disservice if the Movie Brothers did not uh, have some commentary about what's taking place over the last few weeks here. I mean, we had the loss of Robin Williams, a uh, huge talent, as well as what's going on in Ferguson uh, right. with the death uh, uh, from Mike Brown. And so, you know, we just want to say to you, uh, regarding Ferguson, um, it's very easy for us to, I could jump right into the black-white thing. Right. But that's been talked about a whole lot. Uh, what I want to say is, let's just bring it up a notch mm -hmm. and say whether you're black or white, when are we going to stop hating one another? When are we going to start giving a damn about each other right. and recognizing that, uh, hey, we have a whole hell of a lot more in common with, with each other than we have different uh, and that's what um, that's a challenge for all of us right. uh, to become mindful of um, to start changing the way things and the way this country is headed I agree uh, secondly Robin Williams okay the world lost a very talented and brilliant individual uh, with his passing and the thing is is that it really illustrates to us all that life is fleeting life can be short and no matter how much you think everybody or somebody else has all their things together okay they've got everything in the world they're sitting on top of the world we don't understand or we really don't know what's going on behind closed doors with them the bottom line is that with some of the most brilliant entertainers in the world they lead very lonely existences and when you throw in something like uh, debilitating sickness or injury, something like Parkinson's, then you can no longer per, uh, perform at the level in which you are used to. Then sometimes, you know, depression comes in mm -hmm. and that's a very serious situation. So our heart goes out to the family of Robin Williams, to those that he touched, including Aunt and myself and many of you out there. And we say a prayer for his family at this time. All right.